Hey everybody, welcome back to Stone Broke Adventure. Another exciting episode today. EOS sent us this 48 volt, 105 amp hour golf cart battery. This golf cart battery has a 200 amp BMS. Just remember, if you're gonna be using lithium iron phosphate batteries in your golf cart, you're gonna need a 200 amp BMS to be able to handle the loads of that golf cart motor. So they sent me this battery to do some capacity testing on it. We have a capacity tester. We're gonna do a complete full capacity, make sure that it has at least 105 amp hours of capacity. We're gonna show you the golf cart that we're putting it into, kind of talk about the installation process. We won't be doing the full installation, but we're definitely gonna talk about it. We do have a link in the description down below. This battery actually has a five-star Amazon rating. I read through all the reviews. Everyone's really happy with this. And the price point on this battery is really good right now. So click on that link down below. It'll bring you to the site and uh, you're probably gonna get a really good deal on this thing. So here's the battery up close, right? It's 105 amp hour, 48 volt. If it's 51.2, that means it's a 48 volt. It is a Bluetooth battery. It does have a Bluetooth app and the Bluetooth on this actually works with my other applications that I have for my other uh, golf cart batteries. So pretty standard application. We have our positive negative with these really nice terminals here. We have an on off switch on that so you can disconnect the power to this. If you're going to be parking it for a while, just go ahead and turn everything off. That way you don't have any drain uh, over your system in the golf cart. We have RS45 uh, connector here. This RS45 is going to connect to our remote mod. It just plugs right in and you have plenty of wire to route it to the battery. Of course, we're gonna have our user manual. We're gonna have our Bluetooth instructions, how to set up the Bluetooth application. We're gonna have the warranty card. And what's really nice about this is it actually gives you just a really simple basic diagram of how to hook up a golf cart battery. A golf cart battery install is a DIY job. Uh, if you have any common sense and can read directions, you can install a lithium battery in your golf cart pretty easy. It's also gonna come with all the mounting hardware you need. We're gonna have a 22 amp lithium iron phosphate battery charger. Remember when you do an install on your golf cart and you had lead acid batteries, the existing charger will not work. You're gonna have to change it out with the provided lithium battery charger but they do provide it. And we're gonna have the lithium battery charger quick connect, and that's actually what's gonna hook to the battery. The battery actually has these really nice terminal covers too, solid. Once you snap those on, they're gonna stay on, they're not gonna fall. It actually came with a little surprise, a little silicone sucker windshield clip for your phone if you wanna monitor everything live with your application. So we're gonna be using our ET5410A Plus uh, battery capacity tester, really nice piece of equipment. We do have a link in the description for this tester. This is what I've been using. Super accurate piece of equipment, super affordable. So if you wanna test your batteries, this is the equipment that I'd recommend. We're gonna go ahead and set this up, start the capacity test on it and see if it does have that 105 amp hours. All right, you can see here, we started our capacity test. We're all plugged in, ticking away. We're gonna keep an eye on the top right. That's how many amp hours and watt hours this battery has. While this is running down, let's go into some of the specifications on this. Here is the specifications in the user manual. It is a 51.2 volt battery with 105 amp hours of capacity. We already discussed the RS-485 communication to the uh, little display. So 6,000 cycles at 80% depth of discharge. So that means if you run 80% of the capacity out, you can do that over 6,000 times. We have our continuous charging current is 100 amp, but we have a 22 amp charger. So we're fine there. And uh, discharge cutoff voltage is 40 volts. If it gets below 40 volts, it will disconnect itself to keep from damaging the batteries. Maximum continuous discharge current is 200 amps. So that's what we're looking for for the golf cart. The peak discharge current, 400 amps for 30 seconds. So if that's, if you're going up a really steep hill and you got two big guys on the golf cart, this thing can handle running up that hill uh, and, and drawing 400 amps for 30 seconds. You can see here our dimensions, 15.35 uh, inches wide, 9.84 inches deep. We got 12.4 inches long. Let's take a quick look at another install that I did a while ago, just so you get the basics of how the installation process works. You do not want to short these connections out. We're going to start by removing our positive lead on this. Once all the cables are disconnected, 
We're gonna uh, remove our hold down clamps and start pulling these batteries out. You may need some help to get these batteries out. All right, now we're gonna slide this around. We're gonna adjust it, figure out exactly where we need this. One thing to remember when we're hooking the new battery up, you have your old charger connection, right? You're gonna have three wires coming out of that. You're gonna have a positive, a negative, and then you're gonna have a ground on that. Don't worry about the ground, right? But you wanna make sure that you disconnect the positive and negative from your old charger. You have to use the new charger. If you kept track of all the cables, the way they disconnected from the other batteries, right? With a picture or, or some sort of a diagram, it's really easy to hook this up. It's just kind of plug and play. Let's go ahead and look at an example uh, scenario where we'll be installing this battery. Just open this up. This is a 48 volt system and it has six eight volt lead acid batteries installed. Right, six times eight is 48. So essentially these are installed in series. That series connection is gonna be positive to negative, to positive to negative, to positive to negative, all the way through until you have your final negative, right? And that's gonna be what ties into the system. So essentially what we're gonna be doing is removing all of these batteries and putting one battery in its place and we're gonna to connect to this wire because this wire is the main wire going into the system. Right? And then we're gonna to connect to that wire and that's the main hot going into the system. That's all it takes. Also, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you disconnect the existing battery charger from this system. You do not want to use the old battery charger. You just disconnect that plug and uh, just plug everything else in positive and negative on your battery. And I am looking at this system here. Looks like this system's kind of been rigged up a little bit. These cables are a little light. We'll beef those cables up See here. We'll disconnect from our charger inlet and we'll just tie that into our main power of the system. Same thing with the hot lead right here. Right, if we replace all of these batteries, which on average weigh about 420 pounds for a 48 volt system. And we replace it with this battery right here, right? Which is 86 pounds. So by switching to the lithium batteries, you're saving uh, 336 pounds on average of weight just on the golf cart alone. Also something to remember is those batteries in there are 100 amp hour uh, batteries that are installed to lead acid or they call them 100 amp hours but that voltage curve on a lead acid battery starts dropping as immediately as soon as it starts discharging. So as that voltage drops, that voltage becomes more and more unusable and less power all the way down to the drops down to the bottom of the power curve. The power curve on a lithium iron phosphate battery runs steady, right? It'll run 48 volts, 50 volts, the whole way through the entire cycle, all the way to the very end, and then it drops off. So you've got 90% of usable capacity of that battery all the time. You can run it up, use 80%, 90% all the time at full voltage, you don't have any voltage drop. So actually you have more power, lighter weight with the lithium battery. You'll have this mounted on your golf cart and it actually tells us real time. We are discharging the batteries at 97% right now because we just started the test. We're drawing at 6.9, 6.8 amps. That's how much draw there is. So as you throttle up the golf cart, it'll tell you your current draw. The battery's at 52.9 volts. It tells you the actual temperature. Also on the temperature on this battery, it does have low temperature protection and to keep you from uh, accidentally charging this below freezing, that low temperature protection will kick in and protect the battery. We can go to screen, let's go to screen two some historic max temp minimum tent have how many cycles we've gone through and right, let's go to page three and page three actually gives you the voltage of every single cell in this battery all right we just wrapped up the capacity test here you see 106 amp hours we had uh 5,000 
527 watt hours. Yeah, so we ran the capacity test overnight and we got 106 amp hours. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more than that, but 106 is definitely above the 105 rated uh, amp hour capacity on this. Here on the inside. All right, let's take an up close look here. First thing I notice, nice heavy cables. I checked the torque on those. The uh, cable connections are torqued down. Screwed and welded uh, bus bars to the terminals. Everything is nice and orderly. Right. The BMS balancing leads are all organized. You can see here we have our temperature sensor. We have two temperature sensors that I can see up top. One here on the outer edge, but the sensor is in between two cells. We have another temperature sensor here, dead center, right? It has just a little dab of glue. They have glue and zip ties, but everything looks good. It's not all, you know, it's not all junky looking. You see here the little dabs of glue just to keep everything secure. Uh, we have our wires bundled up here really GMD, nice with some protective covers on them. MMS. This is our Bluetooth module. Let's get down here to the bottom. All the connectors look good. Just a really organized unit. Have our little foam spacers on all four sides right. right there each cell has a little just a nice little so let's go into the application spacer. take a quick Everything's look you can see isolated. here we can go into a bluetooth really nice uh, password thing. setting let's go into this screen right here you can turn the charging switch uh off and on your discharge switch off and on you can auto balance uh, look at some calibration settings uh, what's that reset capacity so let's go into the main screen here if we go in here this actually mirrors the LED smart screen that you have your little display it gives you your state of charge your temperatures your current charge discharge and actually the individual voltages of the cells in the battery So that's the AUs. Great price on volt, this battery. Amp you hour. Have the link in the description down below. Make sure you like, subscribe, share this video. Install is definitely a so, good Stonebroke Adventure. 48 until next time. Golf cart battery.